Coca-Cola Dome in South Africa, Johannesburg, with Andy Shognessy. Um, and tell us, what do you do for a living? I am the entertainment manager at Empress Palace Casino, which is one of the, the larger casino groups uh, next to the airport in Joburg. And I plan all the live events uh, for the casino complex. So that's pretty cool. So it's like you work in the you work in a casino and you plan everything, make sure everything's in place. So what do you like about your job that wanted you to do it? I love my job. Every day is so different. So I get to uh, run events and work with people. I get to strategize and do all the exciting creative ideas. We get to uh, plan the calendars. We get to meet with interesting, talented musicians and different types of people every day. So I love the variety and the fact that my job's never the same two days in a row. Okay. So like, how did you get introduced to the job and found out about it and then wanted to do it? I started originally um, studying theatre set design when I went to college um, and then in my, one of my first jobs that I got in 92 I was helping out backstage with the, for the audio department and I then got involved in the technical side of the industry so I became a sound engineer for eight years and then through that I got promoted through the casino group and eventually uh, now run the entertainment strategy. So if somebody wanted to have your well, not have your job, but do what you're doing. Um, what is like some pointers or tips or things that they would need to be able to do if they wanted to do it? I would suggest that you go through, understand all the different stages within the entertainment industry, the different job profiles that lead up to that. So there's very many different types of people that work in, in my department, for example. So <clears throat> you have to understand box office, you have to understand the technical side, the light sound staging side, you have to understand production and set design. Then you have to understand the legal side. So it's better to go through the technical side certainly helps. Um, I was a theatre manager for a while, so I understand how the venues function and the operations behind the venues. And then, of course, you need to have a financial understanding later on. So it's best to go through all the different stages that fall under you in order to manage your whole department efficiently. So, like, what skills do you need to be able to do if you want to do your job? You need to um, ha have spent some time in all the different areas. So. Uh, it's more about spending hours exposing yourself to all the different disciplines instead of yes you need to get the study and the theory but it's good to hang around shows and get involved and learn and watch and just spend hours being exposed to it that way you're going to understand how erecting a light actually works how being involved in sound check actually works so it's just be there and spend hours watching and being involved okay so it sounds like a pretty so um do you have to like work a lot? Like, do you work day and night when you do your job? There are times where it's long 18 hour days. Um, at this stage, I've got a fantastic team who run the operation and the theater, so they work very, very long hours. It is very long hours, but when there's time out and there's no shows, you get lots of time off. So, it's a work hard, play hard kind of industry, um, and you certainly can't be too fragile. You've got to be quite tough. Um, but uh, it's not always like that. There's some days where it's just office hours and there's some days where it's weekends after weekends that you're working. So it's all different. It all keeps changing. Um, yeah, so like how is it working? Will they like accept you or will they be like um, do this or like make you work extra long just because you're a woman? No, I don't find that. I think what's important is that um, getting this position, I, I went through all the various stages. So I think it's very much about respect. It's about can you do what, what you're asking them to do? Um, you know, if, you, if you're going to sit back and ask people to do things that you have no idea how they work, how they function, what's involved, you're going to lose respect. So it's more about respecting the industry and understanding of the industry as opposed to being a woman. Uh, you, you obviously can't be afraid to get your hands dirty. You've got to get stuck in. You've got to not be afraid to lift heavy things. But that's not what it's about. It's about do you know what you're asking people to do? And that's how people end up respecting you. Okay. 
Well, that was Andy Sahagnesi. <laughs> <laughs> kind of hard name. So, um, bye and go, go, Media Girl.